Now, let us welcome the ninth speaker. The ninth speaker is Ms. Hiroko Anase. She drew a lot D and chose the topic I. Suppose your dream since you were a child was judged impossible by AI. Would you still work hard to achieve it? Then, Ms. Anase, please come up to the center of stage and show us your original jewel. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and distinguished judges. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, if your if your dream since you were since you wanted see, um, since you were a child, and that dream was said it's impossible by AI, would you still try hard to achieve it? I won't. I give up because I know that giving up giving up is sometimes really important. These days, many people say, never give up, go on. No, you should not give up. But I say, if it is impossible, give up. Giving up, giving up is sometimes really important. The reason why I think so is that giving up is not the last. Giving up is, some, is something that you start from that time. If you don't give up anything, you can't search something new. Remember when you were a child. When you were a child, you had a lot of dreams, right? You want to swim in the cocoa, or you want to have dinosaurs, or you want to have sugar castle or something. But you give up those things, right? Because you knew that is impossible. Then you grew. Now you are now you are pursuing new goal that you gave up that last goal, and then you had a new goal. So today, what I really want to say is, don't trust, never give up, go on, go on. Sometimes. It is really important to give up. Giving up is something you have to pursue another goal, a new goal that will make your life better. Thank you. Let us welcome the ninth speaker. The ninth speaker is Ms. Hiroko Anase from Kobe University. She will deliver her speech under the title, Funny Face Remove Nervousness. Funny Face Remove Nervousness. Then Ms. Anase, please come up to the center of the stage and show us the brightness of the weekend. Mr. and Ms. Chairperson, and distinguished judges. 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Next group, please. My teacher said. At the backstage, my heart was beating fast. I was almost speeding up by the nervousness. It was time. I get on the stage and start talking in front of my whole school. I'm. I'm going to. I'm. I'm going to talk about the project. The project that we have done. I was talking like this in front of my whole school. I got panicked, and my tongue wouldn't work well. I even nearly skipped the words that I had to say. In short, it was a disaster. I was embarrassed and disappointed with myself. Some of you may laugh at me. But you have also faced similar miseries, I guess. Today, I am here to recommend you one of an effective, handy way to overcome your nervousness. After this speech, I hope the lives of people who are trying hard dealing with nervousness get much better. Using this method, you will be able to overcome your nervousness easily, and can make a speech. You can truly be satisfied and be confident with nervousness. It's something everyone would feel. According to Asahi Group Holding Survey, over eighty percent of people say that they are likely to be nervous. The survey also says that people will be nervous the most when they have to make a speech in front of many people. We, as speakers, fully agree with this opinion, right? When we get panic, what happens? It's common to be panic and sweat like crazy. We often have our minds go blank because of nervousness. These situations devastate your speech, and you will get disappointed as a result. Then how can we overcome our nervousness? <laughs> This is my suggestion: making funny face. I'm not joking. I'm serious. <laughs> making funny face has a positive impact on you. Let's make funny face, and you realize that your whole facial muscles stretch. According to the website of Akaseka Speech Clinic, moving facial muscles, you can ease the tension. Not only that, you look brighter and softer with your funny face. This means, by making funny faces, your tension can be relieved. You can do this whenever you are likely to be nervous. In addition, this does not take time, many spaces, money, or much energy. Using this method, you won't be disturbed by the nervousness, and can do your best on your desired stage. Now, some of you may say, "I get that making funny face can have good influence on me, but how can we do that?" I understand that feeling, and here's my answer: staring contest. In Japanese. Niramekko will work well. This is played by two or more, and we try to make each other's laugh by making funny faces. By doing this, you can move your facial muscles, look at each other's funny faces, and laugh. Laughing is also a good way to relax your feelings. This is why niramekko is an easy and effective way to overcome your nervousness. This method also works when you have no one to do niramekko with. You can do it by yourself. Just do it in front of a mirror. You can move your facial muscles and laugh.
at your silly face in the mirror. Since I was little, I had many chances to perform in front of many people. I was anything but a shy girl, good at performing. However, when I was a high school student, I started feeling nervous. Before performing or having presentation, butterflies were in my stomach. I didn't want to get on the stage. After I became a college student, I decided to enter speed section to overcome my nervousness. My first speech was about comedy, so I wanted to feel fun before the contest. I practiced my speech by using some silly facial expressions. At that contest, standing on the stage, I was surprised to realize that butterflies were gone away. Making funny face must have done a good job, I'm sure. After that, I started making funny face before the contest. I didn't get nervous. One day before the contest, when I went to the bathroom, no one was there. So I did that in front of a mirror. It was kind of funny, but at that contest, I could perform as I wanted to. I get that making and looking at my funny face has a positive impact on me, that I didn't get nervous. Then I remembered. When I was a little kid, my number one favorite game was Miyameko. And even before performing, I often did that. These days, when I have to perform, I always do Miyameko by myself. And this is really working well. Making funny face. This will save you from being nervous when you have to make a speech or performing somewhere in front of many people. I hope this speech will be a trigger for your better performance. Why don't you give it a try? Making funny face. How easy, isn't it? Lastly, I want to do Nirameko with you. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to make funny face? One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have a question and answer period. Mr. Bianchi, please. Okay, Ms. Anase, thank you very much for your speech. Thank you. And funny face. <laughs> thank you. This is a very difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you showed us twice your funny face. Yeah. And that, I think they were, they were, they were both powerful. <laughs> <laughs> did you do it today before the speech? Of course. I where, always. Where did you do it? <laughs> I did it in the bathroom, looking at my mirror in my pocket. Yo, okay. Yeah. So, have you, have you, I cannot ask, for, you know, I cannot help but ask this, ask this question. Have you ever been caught making funny face? <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, I do. Um, before the speech contest in my university, I was um, making funny face and my friend said, what are you doing? And I was like, um, making funny face. And she said, why? So to get away from the butterflies in my stomach. And she said, oh, <laughs> it was kind of weird, but this is my routine and this really helps me to get away from the nervousness. So yeah, I'm proud of that. Um, but still, it's hard to believe you know, the funny face completely erases your nervousness, but you said, you said it does. Mm -hmm. So please tell us, how do you feel differently? Oh, um, if I don't, I feel like, um, I feel really hard, like rock is on my shoulder. It feels like that. But if I do funny face, I feel like, I that like the word has brightened up for me and oh oh my gosh I can do everything like I feel like that and 
it's not only me. Um, after I found out this routine, I told my friend, and she said it works really well too. So I believe this is this will work for everyone. Okay. Do you have any other routine? Um, not really. Just like drinking water or something like that. But the mo the most important routine for me is making funny face and look at my funny face and laugh a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or any other routines that you do at home? Oh, uh, I helps you relax. I I sometimes um, talk with my mom, and my mom is also a good funny face maker <laughs> and <laughs> by, ta um, by talking with her she also makes funny face during conversation so um, by talking with her I, I feel like re re relieved because I can see her funny face and laugh <laughs> and yeah I also may um, I also practice my speech looking at my mirror and I use, as you see, I use uh, funny facial expression during my speech. So it makes me uh, feel relieved. So you sound like you have a good practice button. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, one last chance, one last chance. Why is it, is this topic so important for you? Um, Tell us. Okay. Um, many people think well, I heard that many people think making funny face is kind of a stupid thing, like you don't take it seriously. I don't like that because I, I believe that funny face will uh, help a lot of people and save a lot of people's um, nervousness. So I want my routine, making funny face, will spread for all people and I hope people's nervousness get less by making funny face and everyone will smiling by making funny face that's yeah that's my goal and it's easy yes All right. okay thank you very much well done thank you thank you なんか自分のショーに入るとか全く思いもよらなくてなんでなんかもえみたいなびっくりしすぎてなんかもう本当にジャッジコメントを頑張ってあの書いてたんですよそれで呼ばれたんでびっくりしすぎてへーってなってましたなんか変顔ってみんな皆さんなんかあんまくだらないみたいな思ってると思うんですけどでもそのくだらないもののおかげで自分の緊張がこう解けることがあるんだよっていうのを皆さん知ってほしくてでそれをたくさんの人の前で言えたので今日はすごくあのいいスピーチができたんじゃないかなって自分でなんか思ってます<笑>えなんか去年あのはるはるさんともかさん先輩が出てもうなんか夢のまた夢みたいな感じのイメージだったところに自分が立ってるっていうのが信じられなくてこの夢の舞台に自分が立ってたっていうこともすごく嬉しいですしやっぱりジュエルはなんか人が多いっていうか人,人っていうかこう支えてくださる方もたくさんいて本当に素晴らしい大会だなと思いましたえこの経験えすごくいい経験をさせてもらったので。えこれを<笑>この素晴らしい経験を生かして<笑>これから頑張っていきたいなと思うしうもそうですね。<笑>